All right, this is Mr. Bishop back with you on my Chromebook here to illustrate and show you um, my lovely little calculator. This is my TI-84 CE app. All of our Lake Park Chromebooks come equipped with this now with their, with their most latest update. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it to demonstrate how to multiply matrices together in your calculator. So let's take number 33, for example, from our day two worksheet. Uh, it's a two by two matrix. We could certainly handle doing it by hand, um, but for the sake of ease and for having to multiply bigger matrices down the road, it's worth worth knowing how to do it in the calculator too. So um, how do I start to look at where the matrices are in my calculator? So if you look at this little X with a negative one button here, right? It's above the seven over here, X with a negative one. In blue, it says matrix right above it. So to get to the blue stuff, you, you got to hit second first. So I'm going to hit second and then that X inverse button. And there's all of my matrices like matrix A, matrix B. So the calculator has all these matrices available. Uh, we just need to tell the calculator what we'd like those matrices to be. We need to update the entries. So let's use matrix A for now. Let's go over here to edit so we can edit matrix A. So I'm going to arrow over to the right to edit. And I'm going to hit enter so I can select matrix A to edit it. And matrix A is obviously not a one by one. It's a two by two, right? Two rows by two columns. So two by two. Enter each time. Beautiful. Now I'm ready to type in the values. So we've got a three for the first entry and then a one and then a zero and then a two. There's matrix A. Perfect. Now let's go type this other matrix in, say as matrix B. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen. So to do that, I'm gonna quit. See, there's a blue button right here above the mode option that says quit. So second mode, that's quit, back to the home screen. And then I'm gonna go look at my matrices again. So second matrix, that's the little X inverse button there. Matrix, look at that, matrix A is updated now. It's a two by two, lovely. Calculator remembers it now that I stored it in there. Let's go edit matrix B, hit enter. Matrix B is a two by two. Right, it's our second matrix here on the worksheet, this guy right here. So it's one for the first entry, enter, four, enter, three, enter, five. Boom, now it is stored. So I've got matrix A entered, matrix B entered. Let's go back to the home screen and do a little bit of matrix math. So second quit. There we go. And again, feel free to always stop me or pause me if you want to go back and see a step um, and use this as a resource too, right? I want all of my students to be comfortable uh, with their calculators, especially when it comes to matrices. So let's do a little bit of matrix math here. We need to go call up matrix A so I can say multiply matrix A times matrix B. So again, let's look for second matrix and just select from the list of names. Matrix A and matrix B are updated. Select matrix A, hit enter. Let's say times, let's go get matrix B. Let's go call it matrix B. So second matrix, go select matrix B from the list of names. We already edited them, they're good. They're already updated and stored. Enter. So I got matrix A times matrix B. Beautiful. 6, 17, 6, and 10 is my final answer. Something I'd like to point out that a lot of people um, may, may or may not have realized at this point. What if I had switched the order of A and B here? Would it be okay to multiply matrix B times matrix A? Would I get the same answer? Well, let's give it a shot. It's one way to find out right now. Let's go call up matrix B. Oh, we'll get his second matrix. There we go. Times. I can feel the suspense building. Matrix A. Go call it up from the list of names. We already edited them. They're already stored. Will B times A give us the same answer? No. How about that? Of course, you guys already know because you learned how to multiply these by hand that when we do rows times columns, well, if you switch which matrix goes first, then you're doing the rows from the first matrix times the columns of the second matrix, right? So def definitely the order matters. 
when you're multiplying matrices together. You won't get the same answer if you switch the order. And sometimes you won't even be able to multiply the matrices in a different order. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.